Hello. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Max Bornstein, and Ev was my great uncle. And I'm Lee Mossbaugh. Ev was also my great uncle. <laughs> First off, we'd like to say thank you to Kevin and Marilyn for letting us speak today, because we feel it's very important to tell you a few of our special memories of Uncle Ev. In recent years, Lee and I got into this habit where at some point during all family events, we would have to interview Ev and ask him the most random questions that we could come up with. It started off as just a big joke, but eventually we began to actually absorb wisdom from his wild responses to our ridiculous and wacky questions. <laughs> We'd like to share with you a few of our bizarre exchanges. One of the originals that we asked him on multiple occasions was, Uncle Ev, what would you do if, some, if a man broke into your house and stole your favorite scarf? He thought for a moment and then responded, I'd knit another one. <laughs> when we asked him this again, later that same night, he sat back, contemplated the question, and then gave me and Max a hard stare and replied, Shoot him! <laughs> we couldn't stop laughing. One time we asked him, Uncle Lev, have you ever tried to stalk Ray? <laughs> He gave us a puzzled stare and responded, No, why would I want to? <laughs> Hysterical laughter ensued. Another time, Max asked him twice about the king of pop, Michael Jackson. The first time, Max said, Uncle Ev, what do you think about Michael Jackson? He began to give a detailed response on how MJ influenced music, race, fashion, and many other different aspects of life all over the world. A truly caring and well thought out response. When we asked him again on another occasion, he gave a very different answer. It went like this. Uncle Ev, what do you think of Michael Jackson? He barely hesitated before blurting out, dead. <laughs> But I believe my favorite is this last one because it sums up how funny and witty he was and at the same time how very saucy and full of sass he could be. He was sitting cross-legged in a chair at Kevin and Marilyn's house and we asked him, Uncle Ev, have you ever had any plastic surgery? <laughs> at that point, he gave a slight smirk and nodded his head. There was an awkward moment of silence until one of us finally asked, where was it? <laughs> Without saying a word, he suddenly and obviously uncrossed his legs and opened them very wide. <laughs> I believe that basically sums up both of our humors. Over the thousands of Staples, Mossba, and Loring events through the years, I don't remember him being absent from a single one. He was always just there, having fabulous conversations with people, laughing, hugging, listening, and making us beat the floor with laughter. <laughs> Lee and I will forever miss him for that. He taught us that an iron wit is a fantastic and unforgettable trait to have. We love you, Uncle Ev. Thank you.